Hey everybody, Day Trader Rockstar here with a little update going into Friday, uh, the beginning of um, September. So we got a new month. Great day today, actually. I wanted to go over the futures trades today. I uh, want to point out I'm actually at my I'm not at the office tonight. I just want to get some some notes out and stuff and just kind of touch base with everyone coming into tomorrow. Uh, this is the we're up here. Futures are up a little right now, 350 after hours. And this is just looking back uh, at the beginning of the day today. Um, and I'm running the script here at my house right now. I have it running live, and I put these parameters up there. And I'm back. I'm just going back and looking at all the, you know, this is on a one minute time frame, and just how well this worked. I mean, especially with the the longs here. Every pullback that was actually a really nice pullback, it nailed that. Now, of course, in a downward tr trend line and when things are rolling over, it really depends on your parameters. If you're going to get a huge move like this or are you going to get a smaller move like this? So you have to have a balance of your trailing stop and make sure everything's set up because once you start heading down, of course, those buy side, these big gains you could get, big gains are not going to be there. And lots of times you're going to get chopped up. So you have to recognize that early, early on so you don't get run over. And once you recognize that, and there's a few things that... We've been discussing every day to help you recognize that. Once you recognize that, that's, you know, half the battle is fine, you know, us identifying the divergence. The other half of the, the battle is determining if the, if the market is ripe for a divergence to work out the way it should. And what I mean by that, if there's a lot of downward pressure, sometimes the divergences will, uh, you know, turn over faster than a normal, you know, bullish divergence. You know, it's just the way it is. The market is, um, you know, it's uh, you go with the flow, a rising tide and a sinking tide. You know, that. so let's go. Um, actually, what did I want to look here? I want to go out here a bit. Um, I want to just zoom in here. And you, I'm always looking at, I have four bands to stochastic. This is another thing I wanted to show you. This is my NinjaTrader platform. So with the NinjaTrader platform, it's different from my Quote Tracker or my Medved uh, platform, which a lot of people really love because the colors are bright. They jump out at you. Uh, this seems a little blocky and a little choppy. Um, but that really depends on how far you zoom in and zoom out. You'll, you'll probably see a better view of it. So I kind of want to be able to see these angles. And I want to be able to measure... The lows versus the next, the, the lows and the stochastic. So here's an over, you know, this is a pretty good bird's eye view. And I'm going to show you the um, the parameters on this script because I'm running this right right now, and uh, you know, just waiting for the next setup because the setups have been really good. So we're going to just zoom in here, and what I'm looking at is the four stochastics, and I should zoom in a little. You're not going to be able to see what I want to show you. So what I'm looking for is a relationship between the lows and the pre and the next lows. The lows, the bounce, and then the, either the relative low or the real pure lower low. Um, the, diver the divergence here is really important to me. That is, and I even pay attention to the closing candles on the first low. So here's our first stage low. You get a bounce, then you get a second stage low or a double bottom, what I call a relative divergence, where the candle comes down lower than the closing candle of that previous low and not the tail now it doesn't have to be low, lower than the tail but the, the close you know the the, the uh, closing the, the last the, the lowest closing candle in that group of that makes that low so and a, a much higher stochastic rotation here and again you want to have this angle here the degrees on this has you want that as higher higher above 10 you know above 10 and when you have that you should take those trades and, uh, you know, depending on market conditions and what, what's going on, you might manage that. <coughs> um, this was uh, the nice pullback here. We actually were following this pullback today. Um, looking, for, looking for that bigger divergence. And we did have a divergence right here between this low and this low. There was double bottom, but a much higher low on the, on the 6010. And we call that a five-minute that's a five minute divergence right there, which is really nice. Um, and it didn't go far, but we did take that. And then it, it kind of stalled out, it got overbought, and then kind of rolled over and sold off. So when the sell offs do come, you want to pay attention to your 60 period down here. The 60 period, 
stochastic band here. And that is holding underneath the 20 line. And you get a fast rotation on the, on the, on the 9 3, and it's holding under the 20. Nine times out of 10, these will be bare flags. And we could trade them that way. You could definitely short into them. And what's even better is when you get a divergence here, we had a little divergence right there, a sneaky divergence, but we saw that rotation. I noticed that, hey, this is embedded. This is not even going anywhere. It's really low. It's dangerous. And we're holding under the 20. So you want to be very close, you know, very, you got to understand that's what's going on here. This right here is telling us this is moving up. This is not moving up down here. This is moving up. The price is not getting through that 20. Soon this is going to start to, you know, either get overbought or it's going to roll over faster than normal. This was the key down here. That keeps you out of trouble. Um, that's a hard divergence to kind of look at. This one we kind of came down. It wasn't even a quad. Um, here we kind of started to see something start to play out here. You can see that low. And that lower low, and that's where that divergence came into play right here. Um, two candles after that, that's a kind of a trigger. And it was also a quad, and it actually had a nice little move there. And then uh, market got a little choppy. This is going into the close. Again, I don't really trade too much of the close, but you can see what happened here. It, it sold off pretty hard. Looks like 28 to 17. Yeah, 10 point move down here. The, let's see what else we have here. After hours is going on right now. And you will find these setups after hours. You will find them out. I want a, a big shout out to a lot of the traders out there who qualified today. I won't go, <laughs> my short, t short term memory. Well, I don't want to butcher anybody's name or give credit to where the credit's not due or I would. Um, But congratulations uh, on that. It is probably a little late now. It's almost 10 o'clock. I know those coupons expire tonight. Um, you know, information's in the bottom of the thing. But if not, eventually they'll have other ones that are in the 90% off one. But if you happen to want to get it, you have a, you have a couple hours left. Um, information's in the um, in the description of the video. Now this is where we are. We left off here. Markets are at. Uh, about 9 30 we just had a little so oh, actually i'm not here yet let me zoom in there we go where am i i thought i was long here for a second oh i got i got yeah i was i was long here and again you could see um i just got taken out i actually had a um a profit target in and i it took me out there now the market's moving up here it's up four now um we have a jobs number tomorrow. It's a big number. If we have a, if we have a, you know, bad jobs number, or, or we start to see more, um, let me make sure this is on here. If we see the, you know, less jobs and what they want is, you know, less growth. That's all you hear these days. It's like, first of all, it was like inflation but it was also employment and then employment was very hot there was a lot of people working it was it wasn't good for the uh, inflation environment so they needed all that to cool off they got a little housing cool off this week i think that was important i think there was a little well maybe not you know, there was some some indications and some data points that came out that were um i'm not even sure if it was housing don't quote me on that but there was a few that kept this market here kind of moving up this this week so the job number is going to be really important tomorrow and that would there's a definitely an opportunity to rally off these numbers it might be it even takes that comes out at 8 30 so it, we might already be up a lot i mean there's there could be a, a trade overnight just to grind up that's up to you to take uh all right that's about it. I wanted to just show, uh, give you a shout out, get us prepared for tomorrow. The divergences are key and having patience to get into the setups is the key. If you start to see the market trend and you start going against it, you're getting stopped out, pay attention to your 60. You know, if your 60 is not getting above that 20 and you're staying embedded and you're getting that rotation, it's probably down downward slide and you probably have a better shot of actually shorting 
every rotation. You know, be logical in your entries and exits and don't fight the market. Have a good night. Don't forget, two days, I, I got a coupon out there. If you would like to upgrade to your lifetime membership and get all the codes. Oh, that's another thing. Working on a code tonight. I think you're going to be happy with this one. Another script going out to the RockBot members. We got three now in the uh, in the chamber. Three in the chamber that are being worked on right now. I got the, um, well, anyway, the quad rotation entry system. And I got a super signal that is, I'm working. What's the other one? I have it written down. Actually, I'm working on two right now. I have the third one written down. And um, that's going to, I want to just get sit down and start working on that one too. So looking forward to that. And you get all those with your, um, your with your lifetime membership. As you can see, these things are, are kind of a great, this is great to get you in a, a trade. I, I have so many concerns of people coming in. And on the site saying, oh, I'm going to just put the rock butt on. It's going to trade for me and it's it's going to, uh, you know, qualify. It's, it, you know, you have to be in control of it. It's a great tool to have. It's going to identify great. It's going to get you into the trade real fast. That's what I like it. When you're hesitant, the rock butt is not hesitant. It'll get in there and the next thing you'll know, you'll see this thing just take off. Um where you might miss it and then say, ah, oh, I missed it, or I should have gotten it, and then you wait a little bit. Well, once you wait too long, then you chase, and it's just, you know, this does the proper entries. That's what you should be doing. Not every divergence is a great divergence, and we can usually read into that by your lower stochastic band, like right here. You got a little bounce. You had a little divergence, a little bounce. Fast rotation, started to turn over. That is your... That is your, uh, you know, you always have that stop right underneath that divergence. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Majority of them will work, but the ones that do not work are tend to be in a downward channel. All right, that's why we kind of added, the, you know, the quad rotation add add that to the list. So that gives us a little better setup. We would like to have that 60 period there start to move up. The five minute time frame is on our, our side. So we ever get a good setup, and that that 60 starts to go. That's how you time how long you want to be in there. If you have a good, you know, good market, that's, you have, feel like you're going to get a nice move, everything, a nice divergence. Lots of times you just let that 60 go. And once that 60 starts to get above 80, right up here, you should be, you know, considering uh, taking profits because probably, you're probably going to get another rotation down. And I don't know if you even want to deal with that. And then before going back up, or you can close your eyes and go long here and go, go to the bar and come back later. And see what <laughs> see what's going on for eighteen dollars and seventy five cents. Let it ride, baby. Good night, everyone.